Hey Familia, welcome to our adventure today. We are here at Captain Jack's Pumpkin Patch, one of the best little hidden gems in the area where you can get a ton of pumpkins for the best price. So thanks for joining us. We're excited to share our adventure. My name is Julie and this is Captain Jack's Pumpkin Patch. We have been here since 2013 and did we ever plan on opening a pumpkin patch? Absolutely not. We never had an intent, never a thought, but it would take us forever to mow the lawn. We had an open field that we were do no doing nothing with, so we decided to disc it up one day and for the fun of it we planted pumpkin seeds out there. Well, to our surprise, every single seed came up, so we had hundreds of pumpkins and we didn't know what to do with it. So we literally made a sign that said a dollar, we stuck it out on the road, and that is how Captain Jack's Pumpkin Patch started. People just started coming and slowly we added in stands and photo ops and decorations and people, we, did, we never advertised, people started coming to us by word of mouth it's been eight years now and we always sell almost every single pumpkin we have maybe a picnic table full is what we have left over at the end of the year so we never disc anything up and the few pumpkins that we do have left over we end up taking them to summerfield zoo in belvedere and they use the pumpkins for their animal enrichment and we can take a tour of captain jack's pumpkin patch we can start out with our gourds we have assorted mini pumpkins we have squash. On the other side, we have gourds. And I'll just kind of give you a little tour here. This is our main entrance. This is where a lot of the families come and take their family photos. They either stand behind here, sit on the straw, they'll do goofy things behind the pumpkins. And we also have available corn stalks in which we sell for $5 a bundle. And we always sell out very fast on that. We also have many photo ops throughout the pumpkin patch. Here's one where people step up and they get family photos here. And then we can start with our pumpkins. We have our smaller ones here. These are great for school outings. A lot of teachers will come and buy like 30 to 50 pumpkins for their students. And then we have, which is my favorite, the warded pumpkins. You either love them or you hate them. You'll see in the back, we have plenty of spots for photo ops. We have, we're nothing fancy here. We don't sell food, we don't sell drink. We just come out in the country, spend, spend your time getting some fresh air, bring your dog, we're dog friendly, that's a big bonus. And you can take pictures with your children, your dogs, your family. We've even had class reunions come out here and take their photos, so that's kind of cool. We have a neighbor, a local designer, that makes these design beaded corn and she sells them three dollars each or four for ten she actually splits the proceeds with the local animal shelter so we're kind of giving back in other ways also this is new this year just to bring in a little color some striped pumpkins and we have our pumpkin wash which is kind of awesome we got two washes here and the kids have fun playing there so they can come use brushes and I have towels if they want to dry the pumpkins off. Then we have a cutout back there of Snoopy. A lot of the grandparents will sit in the rocking chair. Even though it's a photo op, they'll sit there and watch their grandkids. Sometimes even the grandparents will come during the week when it's slow. They will just bring their grandkids and just let them run. They don't know what else to do with them, so they let them run here, which is totally fine. I'm happy to have people come out here and just enjoy the property. The most expensive item we have is our $5 pumpkins. Nothing is over $5 at Captain Jack's. And they go all the way down to a dollar. And if you follow around, we have more photo ops. The kids can run in the field if they like. We have some games, we have ball in the bucket, but we're mostly known for the silo over there in which the families come and take their photos. Right behind you here, we have like two acres in which we plant the pumpkins. So these are our pumpkins. We have like 
seven to 10 rows of Indian corn that we plant here. And then in the back behind the house is where all of our gourds are planted. And we've been very blessed that we've had two of our customers donate a little bit of their property in Kingston for us to grow pumpkins and in Union to grow pumpkins. So we got a little bit more, more pumpkins to choose from. I love it when the dogs come. I always take photos of the dogs because not many patches are dog friendly and people like to take their dogs everywhere, right? This is everything. So these are my personal favorite. They're stacking pumpkins and it's like a game of Tetris, but you get to pick flat ones and then a top one. And this is three, six, seven dollars at Captain Jack's. When it, you could go to another store and it'd be way more expensive, so. My name is Jack. This is Captain Jack's pumpkin patch. Uh, the captain does not stand for anything military. I never had that honor. The captain is a nickname I had at, uh, at when I was in construction because when I was a young laborer, I always took charge. So they always called me the captain. So it stuck with me all my life. Okay, these are, are Reyes and some are Kronos, which are like 50 pound pumpkins. That's about as big as I'll get. I mean, that's what they're the hybrids for. The giant pumpkins, I don't grow them because they're too hard to handle. They take too much care. Some of these over here, they're just smaller Reyes that didn't get as big. And then the tall ones like this, those are called Aries. Those pumpkins there, those are just pumpkins that are not the prettiest, but we just sell them for a dollar because a lot of people line their driveways and don't want to spend the money to get the good pumpkins to line a driveway. They'll just do that. And then we have the gourd wagon, which is all the different varieties of gourds, uh, which is warded gourds, uh, wing gourds, small pumpkins like those. Either these are crunchkin munchkins. And then the small white one, those are called baby boos. And then basically it's just an assorted of gourds. There's all different sizes. What made you want to start growing pumpkins? Got tired of looking at the field of weeds. We always wanted to do it, but I never had the time because I worked construction. I was gone 15 hours of the day. And finally we just decided to do it. We started out small and got to this. I don't want to get any bigger because I can't handle it. It's just me and my wife. Those are rogue. They're flat reds. These are the whites. Basically, these are the stacking pumpkins. People like to stack pumpkins now. It's a thing. So they got, they'll take whatever size they want, however they want to stack a red and that together. We have our birdhouse bottles here for people that let them dry out and they make birdhouses out of them. First year, I paid the mellow yellows. Those are kind of picked through, but there was a lot bigger ones. They went faster than I thought they were gonna go. People, whenever you have something new, people just go crazy. These are called blue dolls. Those are porcelain dolls. They're blue and pink, and they're just a different shape. Actually, the flesh on those is good for pumpkin pies. Those are what we call Blanco Whites. They're just a small white pumpkin. And I've tried different varieties, but these have the better stems, so that we stuck with these. Okay, then we have an assortment of very large gourds. Uh, one brand is called Lunch Lady, and another, and then some of them are just, uh, it's just large gourds. But the Lunch Ladies are this size. They get way bigger than that. These have been picked through. And then we have our Indian corn, which is, um, this particular variety is called Wildest Pride. And we've always, it was the first variety we did, and we always stuck with it because of the colors. It's in, in the uh, length of the years. These are called gizmo. They're just a weird shaped gourd. And then we have our winter squash, the harvest gold and the acorn squash, which I believe was aces. A uh, little bit of butternut. Then we have our minis, which these are casparitas. These are pump camions. And these are orange mon. A lot of people, you know, decorate inside. They want the smaller pumpkins for the tables. And then we have our pumpkin wash. And believe it or not, the kids wash the pumpkins. Parents can't get them to do dishes, but they can get them to wash the pumpkins. So it's like a no-frill place, but we just, there's no pressure. People just come, they relax, they have fun with their kids, and everybody just enjoys themselves.
we started in 2013 and we grew a bunch of sweet corn and one variety of pumpkins, which we sold for a dollar because we had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> and uh, it gradually you learn and you grow and you see what people like and then it just it just escalates. Actually, it's escalating too much because I have too many varieties. It gets very complicated. Uh, we try to price everything affordable for people. You know, I, I don't make a lot here. We make enough to cover the costs and then we make a little bit because we don't even get paid. And we put a lot of time in during the summer. I mean, from planting. Um, well, like, you start ordering seeds in January. Yes. And we plant in July. June. Or we plant in June. And then we actually start picking pumpkins just the week before we open. So everything is rushed at the very end. Yeah. And part of the reason why I do what I do here is we, I get a lot of comments from the elderly people saying they'd never be able to afford pumpkins or give their grandkids pumpkins if they wouldn't have found our place. And they could buy like four to eight pumpkins and they're excited. And it's, it's things like that that make us feel good what we do and we try and keep the prices down. We don't hire people, that's why we don't um, have help here. We don't sell food, we don't sell drinks. We try and keep the prices as low as we can just to keep people coming out who maybe wouldn't otherwise be able to afford pumpkins or have any anywhere else to go. And this is just, for us, it's, it's a lot of it is just the joy that we see in families coming out here, taking photos and just enjoying themselves in the country. When, uh, when you hear the kids running around with their little carts, um, and you see the smiles on their faces and the giggling, that's what makes it all worth it. Okay, what's even better <laughs> is when you get like 40, 50, 60, 70 year, old, 70 year old women come in here. They leave their husband's home, they come here and they are like little children. They are literally laughing, they're joking with each other, they're having a ball, they're like outside the box. They reverted to their childhood days and they are just having a ball. This is like something they look forward to and it makes like, like Jack said, it makes us happy to see others enjoying what we are able to provide. We've, we've even had people that are saying that this is now their tradition. They come here and their kids are growing up. Some of them were, uh, the, were pregnant last year and they just have the baby this year and they're bringing them this year. And uh, I just don't know how many more traditions I got <laughs> left in me. It's getting hard because uh, it is just me and her. I mean, it's a lot. It's it's planting, it's spring, it's weeds control, and I I, I fight that all summer, and um, and that's all him. That's all me. <laughs> but when it comes to the end to fruitation, I guess is the word to say when it all comes together. Yes. And like I said, you see the people smiles and they're all happy and they enjoy themselves. It, it does make it worth it. It makes me say, okay, one more year. I'll try it one more year. On opening day, we always have a few animals here for the kids to pet. Look, this year we had goats, and uh, we also had uh, take a picture with a truck. A friend of ours brings his old Chevy pickup trucks, and uh, they people can take pitch, get inside, take pictures of them. But I want to say that we used to have Clyde the pig, and our neighbor Beth raised him. He was a pet pig, hot and, belly pig, and he. Uh, he was about 350 pounds. He was a big, big pig. But the kids would always pet him and he was good with kids. He, you know, you could, he wouldn't bite, nothing like that. We put hats on him, put big sunglasses on him for yeah. kids to take photos with. But Clyde passed away this last winter and Beth was just too distraught to actually come here this year because it, she was very attached to him, obviously. But we just want to do a shout out to Clyde the pig and, and know that the kids miss him. Yes, thank you, Beth. Clyde was part of Captain Jack's Pumpkin Patch, and that will be a memory in everybody's heart for several years. So thank you. We do have a Facebook page, Captain Jack's Pumpkin Patch. We are located, it's Marengo, Illinois. We're in between Genoa and Marengo, and it's just a nice drive in the country. It's surrounded by cornfields. So in conclusion, we want to say come on out to Captain Jack's Pumpkin Patch and make some memories. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Captain Jack's. If you're nearby, come check them out. If not, thanks for joining us and I hope you find a pumpkin patch by your home as well. Bye!